Um, grace, grace to you, good people. Matthew chapter 11, verses 19 are on your bread of life today, and I'm going to talk to us about wisdom is justified by her children. That's the title for today's word. And I'm going to read the New King James. The Bible says, The Son of Man came eating and drinking. This is Jesus, okay? And they say, Look, a glutton and a wine biber, a friend of tax collectors and sinners, but wisdom is justified by her children. Very clear. It goes straight to the point. Wisdom is justified by her children. When you say something, we want to see the results. We want to see the fruit of whatever you are doing in your life. Hallelujah. So, our theme text tells us that wisdom is vindicated. It is proved by what she does, her deeds, okay, and by her children. That wisdom is shown to be right by its results. You talk a lot, show us the results. You're saying A, B, C, and D. You show us the results because we want to see the results to prove that the things you're saying are true. Are you hearing me? In other words, if you claim to know the truth, then you must be free because the truth sets you free. That's what the Bible says. And you must show the results of the truth that you know. Even this gospel bears fruit. So we must see the fruit of this gospel working in your life. But if you're not free, then maybe the truth you claim to know is not truth. Maybe it's merely spoken truth, but not truth divinely revealed to your spirit because this gospel is the power of God. We must be able to see the results of the gospel. Are you hearing me? So according to our theme text, wisdom's children are wisdom's witnesses in the world. The Bible says in Isaiah 43, 10, You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe and understand that I am me. You are my witnesses. Wisdom's children are wisdom's witnesses. What is the witness of the things you talk about? What can you show? Is there something for you to show for it? Is there something for me to show for this bread of life every day? Is there something? Are you hearing me? So this gospel that you preach is wisdom. It is the wisdom from above and true believers are begotten by it, are saved by it. And as a result, they have become wise children and wise for themselves. This thing has made us wise. We have the mind of Christ. We have an action from on high and we know all things. Why? Because of the gospel. Are you hearing me? So I'll give an example. If the cure of every patient that observes the physician's orders justifies the wisdom of the physician. I mean, you go to the doctor and he prescribes medicine and you take it and you get healed. You've, just, you've justified the wisdom of the physician. Then Paul is not ashamed of the gospel of Christ in Romans 1.16 because whatever it is to others, to them that believe it is the power of God unto salvation, he also justifies the gospel which is the power of God. Not just mere talk, but power. Oh, hello. Are you hearing me? So friends, when the cross of Christ, which to others is foolishness and a stumbling block, is to them that are called the wisdom of God and the power of God in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 23 and 24, herein is wisdom justified of her children because we are the demonstration, we are the results, we are the fruit of everything the word of God says. We have believed his report. Hallelujah. We have believed his report. And this is the result of the gospel. Ladies and gentlemen, the wisdom is proved right or vindicated or shown right by the results. And we have seen the magnitude of this gospel that is bearing fruit in the lives of the people who are believing it. And I want to guarantee you one thing. That once you hold on to this gospel and believe it and trust it and take it for as it is and just believe every word as you receive it by revelation, it will work in your life. And if it works in your life, then you will have the experience that this thing is justified by results. And as you do that, I can guarantee you one thing, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.